Have you ever wondered how a file explorer really works, how it finds your files, how it organizes your data, and why some search features feel slow and clunky? I'm looking at you, Windows File Explorer. I wanted to build something faster and smoother while also utilizing custom-made UI that feels old school and nostalgic, just like those retro Windows XP apps we all know and love. So I built my own. Hello everyone, my name is Filip Radovic and in this video I'll present the file explorer I built using C++ along with IMGUI and OpenGL open source libraries. All the GitHub repositories for these libraries will be linked in the description. Right now it's available on Mac OS but the Linux version is coming soon. And with all that out of the way, let's dive into the features. The interface consists of three main windows, Tree View, Icon View and Search Window. Tree View is a great way to visualize the file system structure we can go to our desktop folder and find our books folder and now i will showcase all the file operations that you can perform on this book pdf file by right clicking on the book pdf file and clicking run the book will open in the default pdf viewer for this machine and let's do it now as you can see, the book opened in the default PDF viewer. And by the way, this is a great book called Learn OpenGL. I used it for all my OpenGL projects, including this one. I will now demonstrate all the other file operations on the same book PDF file we looked at before. When we right click and select copy and go to our desktop, right click and select paste, our book PDF is copied to our desktop. And as you can see, the book PDF that we copied appeared on the desktop. When we open the books folder, we can see the book PDF. Now let's see what happens when we try to delete the book from the books folder. We right click and click delete. And when presented with the file delete confirmation window, we click yes. As you can see, the book PDF disappeared from the books folder. I will now show you the icon view window. And as you can see, the theme changed to the light theme. And I will get to the theme selection later. Right now on the screen, you can see the user's directory icon, as well as the back button and the current path. The current path shows us the current directory we're located in. So when I click on the user's directory, I'm presented with all the subdirectories. And now let's find our book PDF from before. And now let's open the book PDF file from before. We can just left click on the PDF icon and it will open in the default PDF viewer for this machine. And as you can see, it opened successfully. And last, but certainly not least, we have the search window. If I type word book into the search bar, the results of the search show file names and their absolute paths for all the files that contain the word book in their file name. So for example, book pdf-2 contains word book and also the swatchbook.svg contains the word book and all these others are the same. So if I want to search for my book pdf on the desktop, I type in book pdf and I see the path users, Filip Radovic, desktop, book PDF. And from here, by left clicking, I can run the book the same as before. And the results are identical. File searching is implemented via the hash map. When the file explorer is opened, you are presented with the loading screen. While the file explorer is loading in the background, the whole file system is being hashed into the operating memory. So when we type the query into the search bar, we search the hash map and return the result. When file explorer is done loading, you will be presented with the theme selector window. You can choose between forest, dark and organic light themes. You simply click on the theme you want and file explorer loads in that theme and that wraps up our file explorer project thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this project or found it useful feel free to leave a like share your thoughts in the comments or reach out with feedback or ideas for future improvements also i encourage you to check out my github repo which will be linked in the description until next time happy coding